Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Bunky back again with a new video. Today, I'm very excited to state my case on why I should live in a tiny house. All right, society has been getting crazy recently and I think I just need to state my opinion on why, on the benefits on living in a tiny house. Will I survive by Bunky? Why live in a tiny house? As you can see, I've been very inspired by the anti-work subreddit. I believe the leader or the moderator of the subreddit is like 30 years old he walks dogs for a living and he lives with his parents i believe uh but honestly that is a way to live i am not built for working i am not the best when it comes to anything to do with labor so today i'm going to be stating my case on why i'm just gonna live in the woods i'm i'm just f society i'm good i'm gucci on all that working for 40 years not for me all right so why risk living in the woods capitalism is too hard as a 19 year old a college dropout mind mind you yo i'm not into this this society on where i actually have to do labor to make money i don't like money money is paper money is somewhat worthless i know it can save people give people homes houses that's the same thing food money has its benefits but everything in the world is free why do we have to pay for it who said that i had to pay five dollars to get a sandwich from mcdonald's that does bro chickens are free or they should be <laughs> that's a whole different su subject next one next point i am broke i think i only have like 20 bucks i am broke this is why i should be living in the woods it, it's either living in the woods or living in the car um either one i am i'm down for whatever i do i don't do labor i think the fastest i ever i almost quit a job was about to be two hours but honestly um I think it was like 40 miles away from my house. Um, they took us to this place where we just had to stock inventory. And I wanted to quit in two to three hours in that job. But I had to stay the entire day because I was nowhere near my house. I quit on the first day. Honestly, that's just the mentality, mentality that I have. If I don't like it, I don't do it. The longest I've ever worked was about like two weeks. So I'm not built for labor. Now also a benefit i get a pet chicken imagine living in the woods a tiny house and i get to use my ch pet chicken to get eggs that i can eat every single day i don't know how chicken works so i don't know if it's going to be every single day but whenever that chicken lays their egg the chicken lays the eggs i will be eating it i get to be a part of nature my second argument why not why not live in a live in the woods there is no question about it that i get to experience something that no one has ever done just why not do it it may not work out okay 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 Pro it's not gonna work out but the idea of it is amazing and i also had to learn how to garden because whenever i do garden it, it, my plants just die i swear to god bro the rain just killed everything I don't even want to get to it, but if I need to live in the woods, I need to learn how to garden. Why I shouldn't. I am broke. Okay, so me explaining that is that I need money to actually build the tiny house. And since I don't have money, I cannot build the tiny house. This is still in the works. So like the plan is going to be worked out by the time I actually get into the house. You know what I'm saying? So may hopefully i have money um i don't know how to survive in the woods okay no amount of tv is gonna help me survive in the woods i swear to god if there are mosquitoes i will be crying every single day now point number three most likely die in the first five days i think that's how long humans can live without food or water and that is probably what's gonna happen to me if I do live in the woods because 
I don't know how to live in nature, bro. I don't even know. I don't even know what stream of water is edible or what plant is edible. Oh my goodness. Um, point number four: no AC, no technology. Um, yeah, I just I can't handle like weather. Um, I I need AC to sleep. I I physically can't sleep without AC unless it's already too cold. And you know, there's a good chance that living in the woods, you're probably not going to be getting any power. And now point number five, it would be boring in the first day. If there is no technology, yes, it's going to be boring. Um, you know, I, I could probably survive the first five hours, but if I can't use my phone, it, you know, it's just going to be going to be trash. It's going to be a, a bad experience. So my last point, thank you. Um, that was my presentation on why I should live in the woods. Um, hopefully other people can do it with me so I don't have to do all the work and I could get more experience before I actually do this. Uh, it's your boy Bunky. Peace. Hopefully you enjoyed the video.